to the metric mile for women. And we get to see an enthralling battle at the front. Monique Hollick will take this one out. She's going to set the pace for them at about 210, 800 metre pace. And they'll move in behind her. We're going to see the battle form between Buckman. Of course, Melissa Duncan already a Commonwealth Games B standard to her year this year. 4-10-20 to take out the win at the Briggs. Kayla McKnight, of course, the semi-finalist at the Olympic Games. So that's where the battle's going to be. Susan Kiken, the Dutch runner, a 5,000 metre finalist. Of course, what an impressive domestic season she had last year when she visited Australia. Took out victories in Melbourne, Hobart and indeed Sydney. But the front of the field, Duncan leads there. Buckman locked right in. McKnight, Kelly Hetherington, the national 800 metre champion. Susan Kiken there in the all black just to the inside of her. So all the contenders are where they need to be. So the pace just out in front, but it's still Duncan and Buckman at the front of the field. So in the javelin, Catherine Mitchell, 60 metres, 52 in the second round. Next up, Kim Mickle. Catherine Mitchell, 60, 60 42, being changed before our eyes. Mickle. So the pace will lead them into the home stretch. That's Hollick. And sitting quite off the front of that group. As we see the field just starting to stretch out. A single file. It's Duncan, Buckman, McKnight, Hetherington. The big guns where you'd expect them to be. Back there it's Bridie Delaney in the black. Kiken now just working her way around the outside. Gap forming back there to Brittany McGowan, the Queenslander. And Buscombe just in behind her as is Gregson. So the field just starting to separate through 800 metres. And they'll move through the 800 metre mark in 210, 211. So the pace is thereabouts where they wanted it to be. But the field just started to fracture in two. It's Duncan, an outstanding season that we've seen from her. She's a world youth finalist back in 2007 and now just starting to find her feet in the senior ranks. Enjoys running from the front. We see Buckman. A very smart tactical runner, of course, when she made her way to this, through the semi-finals and for that win at the World Championships last year. She wouldn't have run more than the 3,000 metres it took to get through the heat and semi. Very smart, hard up on the plinth, will not run any more than she has to in a 1,500 metre race. So I'm going to see them make their way down to the bell. It's still going to be Duncan McKnight now just starting it. Surge there up to the shoulder of Duncan. Buckman in behind her. Kiken wide on a Kelly Hetherington. Gap back there to Delaney. Then McGowan's got the best part of 10 metres to go. So the bell's gone. Wait for the fireworks to start to evolve. Down the back straight. McKnight will not make the first question of the field at the front as we start to see it fracture further. A greeting group of six is now four. And it's McKnight applying the pressure. Buckman's locked in behind her. Duncan Kikens there, then it's a gap back to the 800 metre champion, Hetherington and Bridie Delaney. 200 metres from home now, Buckman, seventh at last year's World Championships, moves to the lead. McKnight goes with her. Kiken looming large there in third place, the Dutch runner. Duncan Piers a spent force. One last effort is what she wants, but it's Buckman that will lead him into the stretch. McKnight's going to have to go round her, as will Kiken. The Dutch runner in third starts to move out. Buckman, eyes locked on the finish line. McKnight in behind her. Kiken started a motor down the outside. Susan Kiken will come from nowhere to take the win. 407-22. Buckman in the shadows of the post will just be pipped for the victory. McKnight into third place. But Susan Kiken timed that run to perfection. 407-22.